Hi guys, I'm Gabor and I'm the CEO and founder of Aquashield. In this video, we would like to give you a short overview about the Aquashield software and the basic functionalities. Hopefully, when you're watching this, you already successfully connected the Aquashield to the 12 volt power supply and also to the Wi Fi network. If it's not the case, please check our previous unboxing video with all the necessary information about the cabling. Also, if you would like to know how to set up the Wi Fi connection, just follow the link in the description. So, let's get started. Basically, you can reach your Aquashield device in two ways. If your computer or tablet is connected to the same router as your Aquashield unit, you can reach it in local mode through a local IP address. The second method is to connect the Aquashield to our cloud service at my.aquashieldcontrol.com also. If your device is connected to the cloud, you will be able to access your Aquashield from anywhere. The core functionality is the same in both cases, but there are some exceptions. Like setting the Wi-Fi connection or your email account is only available in local mode. On the other hand, historical data that is older than one week will only be saved in the cloud. We also implemented functionality to our cloud surface where you can check your local IP address to make your life easier. So let's start and log in. If you don't have access yet, you can register it here. After the login, if your unit is not initialized yet, you will jump to the device settings directly. Please initialize your device and go back to the dashboard. You can find the link with the detailed guide in the description. The dashboard is your personal pin board. You can pin all your most important sensors, relays and triggers to the dashboard by clicking on the pin icon at the upper right of each card. This way you will get an instant overview about the most important information of your garden. You can navigate between the main functions by clicking the buttons at the top bar. Next to the dashboard you will find the controllers. The Aquashield is able to control, turn on and off 8 active equipment through relays. Controlling valves, grow lights, pumps, fans, heaters are not a problem for Aquashield. This is the page where you can set up all the components how to work. You can activate and deactivate each switch easily. If a relay is deactivated, you can control it and when you will build the trigger with your pumps and lights, this relay will not show up as an available option. To use a controller, first you have to switch the controller to in use position and also you can give the relay a new name. Once the controller is in use, you can pin its card to the dashboard as well. Please prefer to use the controllers from number 2 to number 8. The first controller is working just fine, but during the start of the device it is continuously switched on for 20 seconds, so we recommend to use it only for light and not for pumps or valves. The sensors page where all the sensors feedback is collected. Depending on your setup, you can have information from your level switches, pH, EC, ORP, dissolved oxygen, temperature probes and also light intensity and humidity sensors. You can pin the card of each sensor to the dashboard. For each sensor it is also possible to open a graph and see how the sensor's values has changed in a specific time frame. From 1 hour to 30 days, you can choose what interval you are interested in. If there is no valid value on one of your sensor cards, it is possible that the probe is not connected properly or the sensor is broken. In this case, the card will indicate probe error or no CAN message. For some of the probes, calibration is essential as there are some minor differences even between pH sensors from the same manufacturing company. At this page you can start two-point calibrations for pH, EC, ORP and one-point calibration for dissolved oxygen. Of course you will need calibration solution for every calibration point. We will show you the detailed calibration process in another video. If you use our recommended Atlas Scientific Sensors, the values will be preset 
and we'll have a close to accurate to the factory settings. The triggers are one of AquaShield Connect's most complex and most interesting feature. The most important information about this function that here you can create complex workflows for your grow lights, pumps, valves or any other active component. You can create a workflow based on a time schedule so you can easily set up your grow lights to turn on at the morning and switch off at the end of the day. Another example is controlling your pumps to fill and then to drain your grow beds in every hour. Next to the time-based triggers, you can also create rules based on any sensor value so you could turn on the grow lights if the natural light is not sufficient or turn on the fan if the humidity is too high for your plants. Also, it is always possible to set up an email notification for yourself. With this method, you can easily track the events happening in your setup and even create alerts so you will get an email when your pH spikes or the dissolved oxygen is too low in your fish tanks. As you could see, regardless that AquaShield has lots of features, it is still easy to operate both the monitoring and the controlling functions. We advise you to experiment with it try different setups, workflows and explore all possibilities. If you have any questions, please contact us and we will help you.